I don't th- think so many people focus on that. Yeah, well, I don't think enough people think about it. Think about happiness. Yeah, I think we do mm. heavily, but I feel like because if we really did, then we wouldn't run our lives the way that we run our lives. Mm. Because mm. if you really, man, you think about it mm. quite a lot, you know, and and I think about the things that I know for a fact that studies have shown that money doesn't buy your happiness. Yeah, of course. But most of the people that work in this office that we're in in the commons, you know, like eighty percent of them would probably work till their you know fucking knuckles are bleeding mm. to you know reno that house and put a second story on it you know what i mean yeah put that pool room on the on that second story so and that's cool you know like that's a little bit of you'll get a little bit of a buzz from from you know buying things and having money but it doesn't but the whole world revolves around money mm. wealth mm. power like that none of that shit matters so knowing yeah. that like do people really covet happiness when we know how to fucking well, we know what doesn't get you there yeah. and we still go through the same motions. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, we, we can become... <clears throat> I mean, it's an addiction though. Like materialism is an addiction. Mm. And, um, you know, I think what we really want in life is just freedom. We just want freedom and the time to do what we actually really enjoy. Mm. Um, but people... That's why people work so hard. It's like, when I have so much money, then I'll be free and then I'll be mm. free. But then the underside of that is by working so hard, then you need the car because you, know, you, you, know, you need to make your life easy. You need the car and then you need the house. And that keeping up with the Joneses, man, is so fucking real, you mm. know? And you yeah, said a really good point before. You were like, we know, what, um, we know what makes us happy. And I was really thinking about that. And we know it doesn't make us, ha- doesn't make us happy as well. True, but I think we know what makes us happy as well because you look at the happiest people in the world, they dedicate their lives to happiness. The Dalai Lama dedicates his life to happiness. He meditates. He's always... A bit of a weirdo though. He's a weirdo, <laughs> but he's happy. He's happy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't fault yeah. him. Care yeah. life though? Be happy. Wear a robe. Not as weird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you have a look at the guy and, and you he's have a look fuck. at... I'll give him that. He's fucking happy. <laughs> Tibetan Buddhist, you know, he's a leader of Tibetan Buddhism, I think. And um, the Tibetan... Buddhist school can get pretty esoteric and get pretty crazy. Mm. But if you look at him just from in layman's terms, there is no aspect of him that tries to um, be separate from anyone else. In fact, he's gone the other way. So even just the clothes we wear are a, a, a kind of a part of the way we like to want the world to see us like oh, yeah. yeah you know i have a tattoo we have a beard like i'm kind yeah, of this sort of person who we are that we tell ourselves i'm um, this exactly. alternative you know alternative half hipster don't give a fuck yeah kind of entrepreneur that doesn't care like you know yeah. i would never wear a suit because i'm right. trying to prove to people that i don't care exactly. i don't like suits but that, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. but but there is really a part of it that like i i dress this way for that reason i Absolutely. guess Absolutely. subconsciously if i really think about it yeah yeah you know? totally totally um, and you look at a monk and the monks go the other way to make sure they don't stand out. I've got torn white jeans on, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Like, yeah. So this is a very extreme the example. Other way. Actually, kind of Tommy, Tommy questioned me straight away. As soon as he walked in, he said, basically said to me, you look like a bit of a flog, mate. <laughs> well, to be honest. For lack, like... of a better, lack of a better statement, you were like, oh, white jeans. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mate. Trying to allude to the idea that I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, look, he wears a robe. He shaved his head. Um, he, he does. And his life is set up around smiling with people, helping them. Like, we, we know the metrics that make people happier. And that the happier we are. So, there's this thing I read um, in, in a book. Um, it's called, fuck, I can't even remember what it's called anymore. But he was looking at the difference between pleasure and happiness. And a really interesting. Um, distinction is dopamine is the uh, neurotransmitter associated with um, pleasure, which yeah. is that more, 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 and then it actually it actually starts to kill off the receptor sites in the neurons. So you have to have more of a rush to get the same amount of pleasure. So mm. if you watch porn and you have a wank and you come, it's like okay, cool, that was really good, but more off like eventually you're gonna have to watch harder porn, mm. you know, because you need to get that same rush or whatever it is, yeah. you know. Happiness was the on book, the book um, Leaders, Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. Okay. Have you read that? No, oh, it's just similar. Similar, similar talks about stuff. talks about the difference between. Yeah, it just goes deeply into you know dopamine versus serotonin. Serotonin, probably, yeah, which yeah, is what I probably the same shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. um, and then yeah, the serotonin idea is it the it was um transmitted through the brain to tell primitive animals that they have an available amount of resources. Basically, 
we have enough. Mm. So when you have serotonin pumping through, you're like, oh, cool. Everything you is the way contentness. it needs to be. You have contentment. Yeah, say. yeah, exactly right. You have mm. contentment. And um, I think as hard as it is sometimes, because we all have that, you know, fucking beast within that's like, mm. it'd be so good to have a million dollars and have a fucking madhouse. Uh. And that sort of shit. But then the more you can... The more you can take that time out, which I was saying before, which has been really beneficial for me, I, I found what, you know, at least at this very humble age, what um, makes me happy. And I thought it was that external validation of playing the AFL, you know, being CrossFit regional team. And now it's just like laughing with my friends, mm. writing my book, um, spending time with my missus, you know, like all the very cliche shit. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Mm. But yeah, I think it's funny because... <clears throat> 